Putin faces humiliating defeat. The arterial route was cut off, Russian troops were surrounded, unable to cross Antonivka Bridge due to attack by armed forces of Ukraine. The invaders' logistics and transport routes were destroyed. During the night, the armed forces of Ukraine conducted high precision attacks on the Antonivka Bridge in Kherson. The bridge was not destroyed, but it was impossible to move over it due to the damage caused. Forces Armed Ukraine destroyed logistics and transport routes of the occupiers. Acting Director of Kherson Regional Military Administration Dmitro Butry posted on Facebook, he also noted that the traffic links through the bridge will certainly be restored after the victory. Butry stressed that the liberation of the Kherson region from Russian invaders continues, as reported, a video of the Antonivka bridge in the Kherson region attacked by the Ukrainian armed forces on the night of July 27 appeared on the internet, the Strategic Communications Center said this in a Telegram post. Ukrainform reported, the first video from the Antonivka claim after the night attack by the Ukrainian armed forces has been released. Now the only way to escape is on foot or by water. Good luck, read post, Mikhailo Podoliak, an advisor to the head of the office of the president, commented on the attack of Ukrainian forces on the Antonivka proposal on Twitter, saying, you can call the Antonivka bridge an anti-aircraft interceptor. All rockets, we're on our way to the ultimate victory. The enemy is completely isolated from the motherland, the video shows significant damage to the bridge, including large holes. In recent days, the armed forces of Ukraine has hit three main targets, the Antonivka Bridge, the Deryivka Bridge and the road over the Kakovska HPP Dam, the Ukrainian armed forces destroyed 85 occupiers, two tanks and four armored vehicles entrenched around this area to protect the bridge, missile and artillery units have carried out more than 150 fire missions, strengthening our fire control capabilities over transport lifelines in the occupied territories and reducing the force occupied by the enemy stationed by 85 reflex troops tombs to be tanks for armored vehicles and automotive equipment as well as an ammunition depot at soldatsk the southern operational command posted on facebook the invaders attempted to hastily repair the bridges in an attempt to restore the supply routes for ammunition and heavy equipment but the safety of the bridges use remains questionable the russians also built a pontoon bridge over the river inhulets near the village of derivka